At Council, we run an effective and well-respected organisation. We deliver fantastic services at great value to our community. Our efforts in recent times have been commendable, with the Community Satisfaction Survey results earlier this year achieving our measures in all key areas, which is terrific. However, we always want to improve. Every organisation makes some silly decisions some of the time, and I'm sure that we're no exception. As a result, I want your help to identify the silly and wasteful things that we do. So why am I asking you this? Well, if we can identify the silly things we do and stop doing them, we'll get better use of our resources and make our jobs more sustainable and more enjoyable and have lots of positive flow on effects to our community. I'm asking you because you're close to the action. You see the wasteful things we do every day and can help us identify them. About six months ago, I agreed to get my power bills online via email. I thought I was doing the right thing by the environment, you know. So now I get an email with my bill attached every couple of months. But the paper bills are still coming. They arrive a couple of days later. So now I get both. How stupid is that? The help desk I'm on takes a lot of technical inquiries. Fixing it can be really complex and take some time, but even if the caller is happy for me to call them back when it's fixed, if I disconnect the call, bam, I find myself talking to the next caller in the queue. So the caller needs to be put on hold, sometimes for 40 to 50 minutes, and that gives them the shits, sorry, makes them unhappy. And I need to remember to stop what I'm doing every now and then and get them back, reassure them, and ask them not to hang up. So it's not ideal for either of us. On a recent job site we're working on, uh, the, the block sloped steeply from front to back. Now, the idea was to build a big rock wall uh, out the back behind the house, but the bloody things didn't turn up until halfway through the build. Now with no side access, uh, the only thing that we could do is bring in a massive crane and lift them directly over the house. Now if they had a thought it through, we could have built the wall first and then the build and saved ourselves a lot of drama. The only excuse they gave, we always do the build before the landscaping. Ridiculous. Of course I talk with my supervisor all the time at work, but a few years ago we used to have this formal performance review where we'd sit down and talk about things I'd done really well, things I could improve on, and what the expectations were of me over the next 12 months. And you know, I kind of liked that because I got to hear firsthand how well I was doing. Then a few years ago, they introduced this online system and I would have to evaluate myself and, and then submit that electronically so my supervisor could read it in her own time. That meant we no longer had face-to-face -face conversations and it sort of dehumanised the whole thing for me. Really disappointing. It happens all the time. I make an appointment, arrive on time, and surprise, surprise, they're running way late. Sometimes I've been held up to for about an hour. Last time I noticed that they were taking walkings, so access to the doctor appeared to be in the order that they were walking in the door. What's the point of having an appointment system if they're not going to use it or if it just doesn't count for anything? I really should find somewhere else to go, but it's close to home. Okay, so those examples may not apply directly to what we do at Council. But I think you can see with a bit more planning and forethought and some process changes, the experience could have been much better for the customer. So how will this work? We've engaged a specialist firm, Fletcher Douglas, to help us. They've designed a simple survey page where you can list up to three things that you think will be irritating or wasteful for our community. These could relate to how we interact with our ratepayers, how we deal with our suppliers, how we treat or communicate with each other, how we do our day-to-day -day work activities, the order in which we do things or the way we pass things on to the next person and where you see us wasting time and money. A link to the website will be emailed to you. Click on the link and describe what you consider are the silly things you see us doing. If you have more than three things, simply log on again. For those without email, workshops will be run. Fletcher Douglas will collect and group all contributions and report the results to me. The survey site is available now and will stay open until Friday the 28th of August. It's that simple. You don't need to tell us how to fix the issues, just tell us what they are. Finally, I'd like to say something about confidentiality. We've asked you to identify your directorate, but you don't need to identify yourself unless you choose to. The Our Futures team and our corporate management team are committed to the process and keen to hear your thoughts. I'd ask you to take a few minutes over the next couple of weeks to identify those things that make you shake your head and let us know. Thank you.